The Thunderbolt has a virtual keyboard, which will automatically pop up whenever you have touched on a text entry field. As you type on the keyboard, the letter you are pressing will be shown enlarged above your finger, and the device will also predict what you're typing just below the word. As you type, the phone will vibrate slightly every time you type a letter. A long press on a letter will display a list of alternate characters. Dragging your finger left or right will highlight different characters, and when you let go, the selected character will be typed. As you can see, the predictive vocabulary box appears and will display the word you're typing. Tapping on this and pressing the space bar will complete the word. Tapping the arrow pointing to the left will delete characters, and holding it will cause a continuous delete. Tapping the arrow pointed up will capitalize the next letter you type. Pressing and holding this arrow will apply caps lock. You'll see a line below the arrow signifying this. Pressing the keyboard icon on the left will hide the keyboard and again tapping on any text entry field will make the keyboard reappear. Just as in search, you're also able to use speech to text. Tapping on the microphone icon, the device will prompt you to speak. Memo to staff. There will be a mandatory sales meeting in the conference room at 2 p.m. The device will transcribe what you have said and place it into the field. Text entered using this method will automatically be highlighted. This is convenient if it gets any words you said wrong, as you can quickly delete and speak again. However, this tool is usually very accurate. Pressing the enter key will take you to the next line. Tapping on the number and symbols key will bring up an alternate keyboard with numbers and commonly used symbols. As shown here, this is alternate keyboard one of two. Tapping this button will take you to a list of additional symbols and emoticons. To return to the standard keyboard, tap on the ABC key. Here, I'll create a signature using all three keyboards. Rotating the phone, the keyboard will reorient to a landscape format, but all the keys will remain the same. You can use the four directional keys at the bottom of the keyboard to scroll through the text, or by pressing and holding, you can see a blow up of the text, which allows you to more accurately place the cursor. Once you've dropped the cursor using this method, this box appears with options to select text or select all. Pressing select text automatically highlights the word right before the cursor, and you can resize by dragging the green text pin as shown here. When you have text selected, the options in the box change. You now have options to copy or cut the selected text. Here, I'll copy the text and you can see now after I touch and hold on the screen, a third option has been added in the box to paste the copied text. Again, selecting text will bring this box up. You can see that paste shows up here as well, but this time I'll cut the text to paste it one line below. Tapping select all will highlight everything you have in the field. Again, you can resize the selected text with the same option to copy and cut. 
Pressing delete will remove all highlighted text. To access your dialer, tap on the phone button. Here, you'll see the dial pad and above it a list of your recent calls. You can hide the dial pad by pressing this button and pressing it again will display it. Tapping this icon will display your call history and from this window you also have quick links to your contact list. Typing in a number on the dial pad will also show any matching numbers in your recent calls and contact lists. Once you've entered the number, press the green call button and the Thunderbolt will immediately place the call. In the call screen, you have options to mute the microphone, or turn on speakerphone. You're able to multitask on your device while on a phone call. Pressing the Home Soft key will take you back to the home screen and you can access applications and information stored on your device as well as browse the internet. Tapping on the internet icon will launch your home page and here I'll do a Google search for food in Annapolis, Maryland. You'll see on your notification panel a green phone icon and the entire panel flashing green. Dragging down your notification panel and tapping here will take you back to your phone call. Tapping this icon will launch the dial pad and tapping the icon on the opposite side of the screen will launch your contact list. To end your call, press the red End Call button in the bottom center of the screen. When you receive a call when your phone is in standby mode, this screen will pop up. As the instructions on the screen state, if you drag the bar down, it will answer the call, while if you slide the bar up, it will decline the call, sending the caller straight to voicemail. When you decline or miss a call, in general, you'll see this icon in your notification bar. If you drag the notification bar down, you'll see additional information about the missed call. We'll cover this more later. When your phone is unlocked and you receive a phone call, you will see this screen. Here, you can hit answer or decline. Tapping Decline will again send the caller straight to voicemail. When a caller leaves a voicemail for you, you will see this icon appear on your notification bar. To listen to your voicemails, you can tap on the voicemail icon. Then tap on the bar that says, Tap to call voicemail. You can also tap on the phone option on the home screen and a long press on the number one button on your dialer will call your voicemail automatically. Enter your voicemail password and press pound. The last way to reach your voicemail is by dialing star 86 and pressing send. Again, enter your password and press pound. 